Yeah, TV's Melanie Torrey joins us now with the latest photos coming out of Liberia tonight. Melanie. Yes, take a look at these photos. A health care worker suiting up on the streets of Liberia. We're told this is a photo of an Ebola patient walking into a Doctors Without Borders clinic. Their images all too familiar to an Austin refugee whose family never left Liberia. Johnson Doe was born in Liberia. He came to Austin 10 years ago and hasn't been back since. But his brothers, sisters, nephews, and nieces are still there. We are worrying about them because of the e Ebola outbreak. Doe talks to his family on a weekly basis. He says they're still healthy, but watching what's happening is hard. It's real hard. It's real hard to see that your people are going through this. His country is now well known because of the Ebola outbreak, and he wishes that wasn't the case. When people ask you to your job, where are you from? And then you say, I'm from Liberia. Sometimes people feel different about your... He's not convinced a travel ban is the answer, but he does have ideas to keep the virus out of the United States. I think the prevention should be, hey, if you are qualified to come to America, why not you, you quarantine yourself for 21 days, like they monitor you for 21 days before you can even board the plane to come to America, instead of just buying everybody from coming. Right now, Doe and other Austin Liberian leaders are collecting items West Africa needs for Ebola protection. Things like gloves, masks, shoe covers, and disposable plastic aprons. They want to help stop the virus from completely taking over rural areas that have few resources. We don't want us to go in a rural area where everybody are poor and they don't have anything to protect themselves. Now there's a long list of other items they're collecting. Some of the household ones include buckets, goggles, sponges, hand soap, and paper towels. For a complete list and information on where to take those items, if you'd like to donate, just find this story on KITV.com. Live in the Social Media Center, Melanie Torrey, KITV News.